Yeah, hello guys. This is Engineer Sissi. Yeah. Engineer Sissi was speaking today. We are going to discuss a little tip on uh, how to sustain marriage. You know, most marriages um, are not sustained because of a lack of uh, understanding before marriage, you know. So it, it's not too good to just jump from dating uh, to marriage, you know. You know um, it's good you cut. What do I mean? The difference between dating and courtship is uh, you can be dating a woman or a man. That is your cup of tea. But the moment a man proposes a woman for marriage, it has entered into courtship. So that period of courtship, you need to be raw. You need to be, you, you, you need to open your eyes. You need to be real. You need to get your, your partner to be real. Ask real questions. Don't shy away from anything. This one has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. This is you and the man or you and the woman. Be real, be raw. Don't hide anything. Because I am talking to mature people, especially people that are in courtship already. You know, so these are the things you need to iron out while you are there in your courtship i'm going to be real i'm going to be raw so if you don't like uh, some of the vulgar words that i'll be using here you better pull out from here but the truth is that i'm going to be raw because i want to teach some people some things out this is something that your pastors cannot teach you because they they, they shape their mouth thinking that when they teach you raw things they, they, they are sinning uh, with you or maybe they are sinning against god it is not so tell people the truth the bible says that we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free so one of the things that you are expected to discuss in your uh, during courtship is one where are you going to live after wedding it's compulsory question so the guy don't drag you back to his father's house and squat with his parents or even squat with another friend somewhere else discuss this type of uh, discuss the type of apartment you know is it a room is it a room and parlor? Is it a mini flat? Is it a two-bedroom flat? Is it a three-bedroom flat? Is it a duplex? Let there be agreement between two of you. And this has to do with this has to do with your income. And you need to don't forget to discuss who is going to pay for the rent. Is it going to be a jointly um, uh, uh, effort or something like that? But uh, possibly, if either the man or the woman has built a house, excellent. That has solved a lot of problem in your marriage. Two. Will you have babies immediately after your marriage or you have to wait for some time? Discuss this thoroughly. If you want to wait, if you want to wait, if you don't want to have uh, uh, children immediately after your marriage, maybe because of uh, some circumstances or economical hardship in the country, you have, to find, you have to find out the best family planning method that will suit you. Not all injections and the pills are suitable for you, you know. So any method that you will do to suit you, maybe to give you time before you start uh, having babies, then you should single out that, you know. So what am I trying to say? Singles who are sexually active right now are digging their, are digging their marital grave. Especially if you, if, you, if, you, if you have weighed yourself down, you cannot be able to foot the bill of having a baby. If you are already having sex like mad, and taking family planning pills as a single remedy. Men, you are in trouble. Because one day those pills are going to fail and there are side effects of whatever that you are taking inside of your body. So it is a big shame and a disgrace to, uh, uh, to womanhood that you, you, you take pills all the time. You know? Marry with dignity. You understand me? Save, um, uh, save sex till your wedding night. Okay? So that's that is it. So don't be taking pills because you want to save yourself from getting uh, from getting um, 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 pregnant before your wedding or after your wedding. You don't want to put to bed. You keep taking pills while you are having constant sex. You're on your own. You better visit a hospital and take up a very good uh, family planning that will suit you and your body. I mean to say. So the third question you should ask is, how will bills be paid? Who will pay the rent? Take who will take care? of bills and groceries is it the man is it the woman or both of you at how many percent or percentage if it is a joint responsibility is it 50 50 is it 60 40 is it 80 20 is it 70 30 discuss it let there be discussion you know number four question you need to get in your mind is will any family member live with us immediately after our wedding you have to discuss this who and who will live with you? Why? For how long? Can you cope having a family um, uh, a family member living with you immediately after your honeymoon or your marriage? 
you know can your type of accommodation allow such is it not advisable for the opposite sex sibling to live with you after um, a honeymoon in a room apartment you know so you should know all this it's more dangerous if it is if it is uh, the wife's uh, very mature younger sister you know use your head and i advise every young marriage should not live with anybody no house help no cousins around only you and your husband or you and your wife for at least a period of two to three years because you use that period it's an incubating period honestly because that is one of the worst um, time in marriage if you cannot understand yourself or um, each other within these two years it will be very difficult and the presence of any extra body or external body in you can always be making you people to be living false life and yet you will not have a good understanding of each other now number five Will your wife work or stay at home as a full-time housewife? This must be discussed. It doesn't matter whether the woman is a bank manager, whatever she is. Let it still be discussed. If it is, if you both agree that the wife should drop his work, men, it is not good for anyone to stay idle. I advise. You know, Eve was idle when the serpent came uh, to the to deceiver. So many local gossips and over talkative. You know, quarrelsome women are idle. Go and watch it. Most most quarrelsome wives are idle. Are, are wives that doesn't go anywhere. You know, and most nagging wives are wives that don't even know how to make money. Most women that are not satisfied with the little you give to them are the people that don't know the stress of making money. You know, if she can't go to work, she can do business from home and make some money for herself. You understand me? It's not everything that a woman must ask from the man. So that is uh, something that we must take cognizance of. So number six, what is your vision? You need to discuss your vision. This should be the number one of on the list, you know? So very important. If she wants to be a world-renowned neurosurgeon and you want her to assist you in your full-time ministry, <laughs> you are looking for serious trouble. Your vision should tally don't make the same mistake some great men of God made. Talk about what each other is going to become in their marriage. Number seven, what are, um, uh, what are your yearly goals? You know, you should sit down, set goals every year and work towards achieving them. What are your yearly goals for the next five years? Discuss it with your spouse during courtship. It's not when you enter into marriage, you begin to discuss it and see and see um, re uh, reactions, you know. So number eight, how many percentage of your income will you save monthly and for what purpose? You have to talk about it. You know, nine, which church will you be attending after wedding? The guy's church, you know, or your own church as the woman, you know, or another denomination entirely thoroughly discuss and they come to an agreement number 10 and i think i will stop here who are you empty yourself empty yourself your family background you know past mistakes you know bodily defects you know any error you think you know about yourself discuss it that time you know so somebody won't die of shock in marriage you know kind of so you have to you have to take cognizance of all these things they matter a lot when certain revelations begin to show up or begin to swim in intolerance, you know, so many never recover from the shock. So divorce from honeymoon and never rec um, reconnect for life. Some do that, you know. So there you go. I pray that and I wish that from here you can be able to understand where I'm going to. Before you enter into marriage, please cut with your man, cut with your woman. In courtship, ask deep questions be raw be thorough you know be real bring out your real self if you have been forming during your dating period immediately enter courtship be real let the man know the beast in you and to see if he can contend with it let the woman know the beast in you and to know if you can contend with it because not after marriage you begin to bring who you are that is why we have high level of divorce so i will stop you here maybe we'll continue later you know until then i remain in genesis single god bless you I hope this helped though.